Hello everybody, I'm glad you could join me today. Today we're going to be working on still life paintings. And for my still life, um, I chose a toy still life. So I have two little girls at home, so I've got plenty of toys laying around. So I chose some really kind of interesting toys to draw and paint, and then I created a little still life. So as you can see here, I, have, I chose a block, and then I have this little rubber duck here, a little toy dog, and then a little plastic donut. So I kind of set up this little scene with some toys. And then this is the painting I made. So I drew it first, and then I outlined it, and then I painted it. So as you can see, we've got the duck, we've got the little dog and the donut over there, and then I kind of made my own background for it. So, this is what we're going to be doing today, and I will show you the materials you need. Pretty simple materials. So first, you will need to find some toys. So they can be your favorite toys, they could be anything. They could be plastic, they can be fabric, um, anything you want them to be. Or they don't have to be toys, they can be, uh, a pl you could have a plant, or you could have a cool rock that you like, or anything that's special to you, you can include in your still life. And go around, when you're looking for items to put in your still life, make sure it's something that you think you can draw. Because some objects are really pretty complicated to draw. Some objects, I chose objects here that are pretty simple. So just to start off, I would start simple. That's just my advice. So I, I went around my house again and I found, I found this cool block. So I thought that could be interesting. Um, I like using blocks because it kind of gives your objects different layers and different um, planes to kind of sit on. It makes your picture more interesting. And then there's this kind of cylinder block here. And I saw this cool fish that maybe would, could be cool. Maybe I'll put him on top. I found this guy. He could be fun if he can stand up. Maybe I'll set him against. I found a chicken. A little chicken, and we all know how to draw chickens now. So I thought I would include the chicken. Maybe I'll put that up there. And then I found a little pig. Which maybe that'll go right in front. Okay, for today's still life project, you're going to need some paper. So I, um, as you can see on my painting, it's just on a piece of paper. So I chose kind of a, a thicker paper. It's more of like a cardstock. So the thicker the better, since we'll be using paint, we want it to be a little bit sturdy. And I have just have a pencil and an eraser in case I make mistakes. Um, I have a, a marker that I'm going to use to kind of outline my drawing. That's what I like to do. All right, and I have a paper plate for a palette that I like to use. I have a, my bin full of paintbrushes here. I've got some thicker ones. I've got some some thinner ones to get into some detail areas. I have a cup of water here to wash my paintbrush, and I have my paints. These are just, any paints you have around the house, these are just some little um, craft paints. They work fine if you have acrylics, if you have watercolors, whatever paints you have would be great. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have my still life set up here, and I actually found a little piece of fabric that I put underneath, kind of to add some um, texture and some color. And then I have my drawing paper here. And so what I, sometimes what I like to do just to have kind of a fun composition is, for example, on my last one that I did, I kind of, I drew a circle here. So, and I drew everything in my circle. So I think that's what I'm going to do again here. I'm actually going to take my palette and I'm going to trace the circle onto my paper. You don't have to do this, but this is just some kind of, sometimes a fun way to create a cool composition. So I have my circle there, and this is where I'm going to be drawing. I'll just make sure everything's perfectly right here. Make sure I can see everything, all the toys look good. All right, so I'm going to start by picking a shape, picking a toy. I think I will start by picking the thing that's in the front, which is this blue fish. And I'm just gonna kind of block it in there. It's kind of an oval shaped 
toy and it's got this tail coming out and then it's got its eyes here. And as you can see, I'm drawing very lightly because I will be going back later to erase. And it's got some fins and I'm definitely not worried if it doesn't look exactly like the fish. I'm just kind of looking at it every once in a while to get a reminder of what it looks like. All right, and then I'm just gonna leave that there for now. I think I'm going to draw this black in the background here. So this black kind of comes out like this. It's got its face. And then as you can see, this line here and this line here goes back that and then this line is parallel to this line this line is parallel to this line and these lines are pretty parallel so there I have a block it's got an F on it so that's kind of fun all right now my pig is on top so I'm going to draw the pig it's kind of again has an oval body and it's got a head. This is how I draw. I draw the basic shapes first and then I go in with the detail later. It's got the little ears. And then it's got some kind of looks like it's got some kind of design under there. But you know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that out for now. I'm gonna move on to this cylinder block here. Move it back, kind of goes back here. Cylinder is an oval. And then the sides come down. So my placement is a little bit different from my actual still life, but no, that's okay. And then I'm going to draw my chicken on top. It's kind of like a circle body. The circle head. And then it's got that pointy tail. All right, I've got this guy here, and he's gonna be fun to draw. I'm gonna draw him kind of over here. Got an oval head, circle body. Just got little legs coming out. Two big eyes. He's got his kind of ear things here. One comes comes out this way. The other kind of goes this way. And I think I'll kind of draw my fabric coming in down this way. And as you can see, it's got a nice angle here. So I'm going to draw that angle. Back, it continues like that. You can make it kind of go like that. Okay, so now I have all of my toys drawn, and as you can see, um, this is the way I draw. However, you draw is perfectly okay, and if it doesn't look exactly like the toy, that's okay. The point is to just look, get ideas for shapes, um, see how things are kind of aligned next to each other and just do your best. So now I'm going to go through and erase some of the lines that I don't like. And once I have a drawing that I like, um, for, for my painting, I'm actually gonna take a, a marker here and I'm going to just outline my toys here. That's just, as you can see in my, my last my painting that I did, I outlined everything in blue. So that just kind of gives a cool look to your painted shapes here. I'm gonna draw around my circle too. Looks pretty good. And again, I'm just going to go through now that I have the marker on there and you really erase. So here I have um, my paint squirted on to my paper plate palette. So again, any paint that you have would be fine. I just kind of chose a bunch of colors. I knew I would need some blues. I knew I would need some greens, some browns. So I looked at my still life and I figured out what colors I would need. And then I also added some more colors for color mixing, which is one of my favorite things. So now I'm going to 
pick an object in my still life and I'm going to paint it. So I think I'm going to start with the pig. So for the pig, I'm going to pick a little bit of pink and I'm going to mix it with maybe a little bit of, of yellow and some white to kind of get that piggy color. So I like to pull colors from, I like to have a little space on my palette and that's where I mix the colors. So I'm not going to take a whole bunch of yellow and just stir it into the, into the pink here. I'm just gonna pick a little pink and I'm gonna pick a little yellow and then I'm gonna pick a little white and I'm just mixing it in the middle here in its own space. So then I'm just gonna do the best I can and paint. And I've got a little brush here so to get into the little areas. If your paint brush dries out, just go get some more paint. Now if I want a new color, I'm gonna just make sure my brush is nice and clean in my water. And I'm going to do the black underneath the pig. So I think I'll take this as like some yellow ochre here and for sure some brown maybe a little bit of white maybe some yellow a little bit more white looks like a pretty good black color the front of the black is definitely darker because the light is shining from above so I'm gonna go back to my mixing palette here and I'm gonna add, a, to make it darker, I'm actually not gonna add black. At least that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue and see what happens. Okay, that definitely makes it darker. Maybe a little bit of this kind of cranberry color here. That made it just a, a little bit more darker and I didn't add the black. I just added some other darker colors, just a little bit. So let's see how that looks. That looks nice. It's a darker sh kind of shade of what I was just working with and that will be used for the front of my block. And then this, this side, even though it's kind of hard to see in here, but if we were to twist that, that almost looks like it's got a little bit of green in it. It's got a little bit more white, it's more of a lighter Try that. Yeah, that looks kind of nice. So the thing about color mixing is just try. Try different combinations. There you go. It's a nice little, looks very three-dimensional. Paint that red F there. And I'll just use straight up red. I might add a little white to it. I see now that I, I missed drawing in that red border, so I think I'll do that now with my paintbrush. Now I'll work on the fish here, this blue fish, and it's not quite that blue, it's not quite that blue. I think I'm gonna do some more color mixing here. I'm running out of space here, but we'll make it work. All right, that looks like a pretty good color. And if you see some if you look at your still life again and you see there's some darker areas on your toy and there's some lighter areas, just add some white for a lighter area and then go in and add some highlights if you want. Next I'll go up to my chicken here and I know it's white. If you really look at it, look in these shadows right here. It's actually kind of like a pale blue. There's even like a rosy kind of tint down here. So I'm gonna mix some really light colors to, to make my chicken look like it's kind of shadowy. I might even kind of just come in here and use what I've already got. Got some shadows. I'm gonna leave some white so it still looks like a white chicken. Now I'll move on to this cylinder block. And as you can see, the top part is definitely lighter than this, the long part here. So again, I'm gonna go back to my colors and mix some new colors up here. This will be for the darker side. A little bit of brown, maybe just a little tiny bit of blue, and a little bit of the rosy. 
And that makes a nice, warm, rich brown. Now for the top, it's a little lighter, so I think I'll add some yellow and a little white to make it really a little bit lighter. That way it looks three-dimensional. This block also has some really cool wood grain lines on there, which I think I'll add. I'll take my really small brush and I'm going to add, I'm going to make it dark. And brown. I'm going to add some brown. I'm going to add a little bit of blue to darken it up. Maybe a little yellow. I've got a nice wood grain color. I'm just kind of, kind of seeing the general pattern. Is it perfect? Nope. That's okay. We're just looking. We're looking at the little details. Next, I'm going to add, I'm going to work on this little guy, and the fish and this little monster guy are, are both blue. But I want to make sure that this isn't the same blue as that, because it's going to be more interesting in my picture when I'm done. And this guy is a little bit lighter, so I think I'll start with a lighter blue. I'll just mix, I'm going to just experiment, I'm going to kind of see what my paintbrush does for me here. Let's see, make it a little bit lighter. Maybe I'll add just a little bit of green and see what happens. Just a little bit. Yeah. It's definitely a different blue than that fish, so I like that. I think I'm going to keep that. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush now because I'm getting into the detail area. And if I go in there with a really big brush, I'm just going to paint over all of my drawing. So if you do have a smaller brush, it's worth it to just take an extra second and switch. If you don't, that's fine. Just do your best. Now I'm going to move on to my background. So I've got a really big space to paint here. So I'm going to actually choose my bigger brush and I'm going to pick a green because my fabric is green. But you can have any background that you want. I think I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to it just to give it a little bit more yellowy green kind of look. And I'm going to go in and just carefully around my shape so I don't want to cover up my nice drawing in my painting here. I think I'm going to switch to my smaller brush now to get into some detail area because that brush is too big. As you notice, underneath the fish, underneath all these shapes, there's a, a shadow. So that is really a fun thing to draw as well. So I'm going to take my green and I'm not going to add black to darken it. I'm actually going to add, um, maybe I'll add a little bit of blue and maybe I'll add a little bit of brown and that's going to give me a nice, rich, dark green color. And I can go in and add the shadows. You don't have to be perfect. Just something in there to kind of make it look like the, the light is shining. Uh -huh. Now I have this space here that I could figure out what I want to do with. But maybe I'll just do it kind of like a white, marbly kind of look. So maybe I'll kind of take a a little bit of my white and see what kind of color I, I like. It doesn't have to be what I'm actually seeing. It could be something different. So that's kind of nice. I'm going to experiment with layering some colors. I think I feel happy with, with how this came out and I think, I'm, I think I'm done with it. At this point you can keep it on the paper. You could even do something in the background. You can cut it out and glue it onto another piece of paper. Okay, so here's my finished piece and my still life next to it. And so this is just all about setting up a, a still life that you like, of items that you like, items that you find interesting, 
interesting colors, interesting shapes, things you think you, you can draw and paint. Um, it doesn't have to look exactly like it. Just do the best you can. Keep looking at your still life from time to time to see kind of where you're going. And just have fun. Mix colors, experiment with mixing different colors and see what, what you can get. And please, if you do any of these toy still lifes, please post them in our comments or email them to us. We'd love to see what you're working on. And until next time, thank you very much.